This video is sponsored by TuneCore. The minor four chord is widely considered to be one of the most emotional and evocative chords that we can play in the major key. When I say minor four, I just mean the fourth chord of the major key, but minor rather than major. So for example here, we're in the key of C major, so all the white notes on the piano. The fourth chord of C major, well we just count four up, one, two, three, four, that's F, would usually be F major, because that's the chord we can build on the fourth degree of the scale, F, using the notes of the scale, in this case the white notes. But if we instead play a minor chord, F minor, here on the fourth degree of the scale, we get this very evocative, melancholic sound. So there's C, and here's the minor four chord, F minor. A great example of the minor four chord is in Bohemian Rhapsody, right at the end of the song. In this example, we're in the key of E flat major, so the four chord would usually be A flat major, but here instead we get A flat minor and we get this absolutely gorgeous sort of longing moment right at the conclusion of the song. Really now, a really common way to use the minor four chord to bring out its bittersweet quality is to move from the minor four chord back to the tonic chord, to the one. Now, we'll talk a little bit later about why that resolution works so well. But now let's just talk about what that resolution is called. This movement from the minor four chord to the one chord is referred to as a minor plagal cadence. A regular plagal cadence would be the movement from the normal four chord, so in the key of C that would be F major, back to C. So a plagal cadence is four, one, or what's sometimes referred to as a Amen cadence. But if we wanted to make the four chord a minor chord instead, well now we've turned our regular plagal cadence into a minor plagal cadence. The movement of the minor four chord back to the one. Very sweet sound. A great example of the minor plagal cadence is here in the Beatles Nowhere Man where we're in the key of E major and we resolve from A minor, the minor four chord, back to E major, the tonic chord. Perhaps the most common setting in which you'll encounter this minor four chord, encounter a minor plagal cadence, is in a movement where we go from the regular four chord, then to the minor four chord, and then back to one. So it's like extending that minor plagal cadence. Four, minor four, one. F major, F minor, C. This is the way that you'll see this chord used in so many popular songs. Wake me up when September ends. Using the minor version of the four chord, even though we're in the major key, is an example of what we can call modal interchange or modal mixture, where even though we're in the major scale, we borrow some chords from the parallel minor scale 
to add a bit more colour and depth to the chord progression. For example, In My Life by The Beatles is in the key of A major, but when it uses this D minor chord here, the fourth chord of the A minor scale, well, we're borrowing a chord from the parallel minor, from the A minor scale, and plopping it in the A major scale. All my life, though some have changed. If In My Life instead used the native D major of its key A major, then it would sound like this. All my life, though some have changed. We can hear how the D minor, the modal interchange, introduced an extra depth to the tonality making it more evocative and interesting. Now, although the majority of songs that use a minor four chord will resolve it back to the one chord, you don't have to do that. Some songs instead resolve the minor four chord to the six chord, which is a much darker sound. Minor chord resolving to minor chord. For example, we can see this resolution in Between the Bars by Elliot Smith. I'll keep them still and also we can see it here in Where Is My Mind by the Pixies. Now even though in most examples of the minor 4 chord we'll get it in the setting of major 4, minor 4, 1, there are many songs that use the minor 4 to 1 progression without also throwing in the major version of the 4 chord. I actually talked about quite a lot of songs that do this in my recent Mixolydian flat 6 video because moving from the 1 to the minor 4 chord is a perfect chord progression to play the Mixolydian flat 6 scale over the top of. So that's the minor 4 chord, but why is this resolution from minor 4 to 1 so satisfying? Why does it work so well? Well, it's to do with the voice leading, the way that the notes move from the point of tension to the point of resolution. A good way to think about the minor 4 to 1 chord resolution, the minor plagal cadence, is to first think about the resolution we get when moving from a sus4 chord to a regular major chord. When we're here on C sus4, for example, we have an undeniable tension, a suspension, caused by the presence of this F note here, the fourth note of the scale hence sus4. When we then move to a regular C major chord, that fourth, the F, resolves down onto E, a chord tone, in a very satisfying resolution. But what does that have to do with the minor four? Well, if we compare C sus4 moving to C with F minor moving to C, we can see that it's essentially the same motion, the fourth note of the scale, F, resolving down onto the E. However, with the F minor, it's like we're getting a supercharged version of this motion. Because in addition to the F moving a semitone down onto a chord tone, we also have this A flat moving a semitone down onto a chord tone. They're both moving in parallel, reinforcing each other. So it sort of doubles up that tension and release hit. And harmonic tension and release is a big part of what makes a chord progression evoke emotion. So I think it's this simultaneous parallel resolution down a semitone underpinned by the consistent tonic note of C in both chords, gluing it together, that gives us that lush, beautifully longing sound. So in a moment, I'm gonna play you a piece of music where I've used the minor four chord in as many different ways as I can think. But just before that, I want to tell you about today's sponsor, which is TuneCore. If you're a producer or a songwriter, then you'll definitely be interested in TuneCore. TuneCore is a distribution service that makes it affordable and simple to not only release your music on platforms like Spotify and iTunes, but to also get paid for your work. When you release music via TuneCore, you retain 100% of the royalties you earn with no hidden fees. Also, TuneCore now has a great splits feature, allowing you to automatically split the money that your music earns between you and any co-writers or collaborators. TuneCore plans start from as little as £12.99 a year, and even on the basic plan you'll be able to upload unlimited songs to streaming platforms like Spotify and digital stores like iTunes. You'll even get the official verified tick on your artist's profile. Releasing music through distributors like TuneCore is a key way that independent musicians can earn money by selling their music. To find out how easy and affordable it is to release your own music, head over to TuneCore now using the link in the description. 
Thanks very much.